top 20 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 11.3.1 or below. And just recently, just today, iOS 11.4 beta 3. So let's get right into it. First tweak, YouTube tools. And I love this tweak a lot. Basically now, it supercharges your YouTube application. So it allows background play. So for example, I can go into my channel, uh, my channel, and we could play a video and it's gonna play in the background. That's really one of the main reasons why I have this tweak. So let's play yesterday's video. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the iOS 11.3 and it's playing in the background. Jailbreak has officially launched, and I'm here to give you guys a quick little tutorial. Video and on how you could pause it, you can skim through it, you could do whatever you like, and that's really why I like to use it for it. But there are some settings to configure if you want. So if I go into my settings, YouTube tools, you have some settings right here. So playing background, you can disable the ads if you like. I like to support all my fellow YouTube creators out there, so I really don't recommend that. Support your creators, it takes a lot of time. And you have a bunch of options here, so I'm not gonna go through them all. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you guys get the idea. YouTube tools, supercharge your YouTube application. Next up, we have a tweet called Prediction Shortcuts. So now we're gonna take it into the Notes application. And basically, it's going to have, um, instead of having your typical words, you have um, some actions here. So, unless you start typing, you can have some, uh, you know, your prediction text. But, if there's nothing, so really all this tweak does, you have, instead of you tapping and holding that, you have all your commands right here. So, I can select all by tapping that. I can copy it, and then I can maybe paste, which is the same thing. You can undo. So, you have a bunch of actions there instead of having your predicted text. But, when you start typing... You still have your predicted text, but once you space, then you have those options. Really, really super duper handy. And this is why I love jailbreaking. It definitely refines or changes the way how you use your device for the better. And since we're on the keyboard, I may as well show you guys this. This is called Bar Emoji. And basically all it is, it just takes your recently used emojis and put them down below. So it's not that much wasted space. It, you know, now you have something there. So I kind of look at this as like the MacBook Pro Touch Bar. It works. And if you want, you can see all your full pages emojis too. But just quick access to your emoji. And that is Bar Emoji. Alright guys, so moving on to the next tweak. We have this tweak called Battery Percentage X. So what this tweak does, you guys see that battery percentage there on the iPhone 10. Instead of showing the battery icon, you now have your battery percentage, which is far more useful. And of course, if you swipe down, you have your, you know, your battery icon there too. But there's some functionality too with this too. If you double tap on it, you activate low power mode. So without you going to your control center, you could just activate low power mode just like that. If you tap on hold... Um, I think I disabled this. You can actually respring your device. It's a lot of hidden uh, functionality that they have with this. Um, we're going to go back. We're going to go into Battery Percentage X. And you have a bunch of toggles to configure if you like. And yeah, you have color, percentage. And fun little fact, if your battery is low, this text will turn red. And as you guys saw earlier, it'll turn yellow if it's on low power mode. By the way, to set up my iPhone, I just exposed myself. I'm using this mask to stand it up. I need to get one of those docks, but bear with me. This is just what I can do right now to stamp the device. Next week, we have bottom control. So bottom control, you're customizing your gestures on your iPhone 10 um, or any iPhone for that matter. So you can swipe up. Okay, that's basic. But if I swipe on the side here on the right, I activate my control center. So it's very, very easy access instead of reaching all the way to the top. Um, so very, very convenient for one hand usage. Um, so I like that a lot. And um, you can actually lock your device by swiping on the left side. There's some settings to configure with this. And this is bottom control X. And you have you can enable it. You can have a customized gesture. So if you're on the springboard, the springboard is the home screen. This is the home page or the home screen of your iPhone, you can have different actions. So bottom left can lock your device. You can have, um, you know, control center on that side, home gesture, or your cover sheet. Your cover sheet is actually your, um, your notification center. So that is bottom control X. Very, very handy tweak. And since we in the settings application, as you guys can see, my settings is slightly different. As you guys can see, um, circle icons, um, that's exactly what this tweak is called, circle icons. Um, basically, it just matches the iPhone 10 in my opinion, because the iPhone 10 is nice and curved on the edges, on the body. The whole phone is curvy, so having the curve icons on the settings, it just makes sense. Um, so this is circle icons. You can enable it. 
You can remove the icons if you like, but that would require a respring. I don't feel like doing that. And you have your default rounded corners. So I really like this tweak a lot. It reminds me of the Apple Watch, honestly. Um, having these circle icons on the side here. The next tweak is called Airify, and basically it removes the volume HUD on the middle, so it's gonna put it on the top. So if you're watching a nice little movie, um, it's not gonna take up the whole entire view, the volume HUD, so it's gonna put it right there on the top. Um, as you guys can see, you can actually interact with it too, if you like, um, so that is pretty cool. Um, I really wanna get Peekaboo. Maybe after this video, I'm gonna install Peekaboo, and it's basically gonna allow the volume HUD on the actual air of my iPhone 10. So I think that's gonna look a lot neater. Uh, maybe after this video, I will install that. That is free, but I gotta look up the source. Uh, so yeah, finding these sources could be a little annoying too, in my opinion. And next up, we have Force in Pitcher. Very, very handy tweak on the iPad. You normally have Pitcher in Pitcher, and you can have that same functionality right here on your iPhone or iPod. And basically you could tap on this. It's a free tweak and it's gonna pop out the video just like that and you can interact with it. So you can make it bigger. I believe you can hide it. I think you can hide it, yep. Yeah, so you can do whatever you want. You can go on Instagram and you can do whatever while you're, while you're watching that movie on the top there. So that's pretty cool. All right, next tweak is very, very handy, and I don't know why Apple did this. Um, this is called Real CC. So now when you tap on your Wi-Fi, you can turn on and off your Wi-Fi signal. Now, normally on normal iOS, it's going to temporarily, temporarily disable the Wi-Fi. So it's not going to really turn it off, but this time with Real CC, it actually turns off your Wi-Fi. So no Wi-Fi is ticked on. So if I can go into my settings, uh, like a 3D touch, I can go into Wi-Fi. And it is off. And if I turn it back on, it'll be back online. Now, next up, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this. Um, this is called Noctis. So basically, it, it makes the UI dark. So you have your um, your 3D touch platter here. That's dark. My notification is dark. If I go into my cover sheet, everything is dark. And I gotta say, this unifies with um, Eclipse 10. Um, so when you have that dark mode on, you may as well have your UI dark too as well. When I mean UI, I mean like the banners and um, the platters on the 3D Touch. So now when I go into my settings, since I enable Eclipse 10, everything is completely dark. Um, and as well as my notifications and everything is just completely dark. So definitely handy tweak. Wish Apple can do this, hopefully in iOS 13. And next up. We have Artsy. So Artsy is basically an alternative to color flow. Um, so if I go into this, it basically, it takes the dominant color of the album and it just adapts it to the entire music player. I love tweaks like this because it makes you want to play music just to see the different album arts. And it just look cool. It really just look cool. It's one of my favorite tweaks. And not only that, it actually changed the color right here too. Um, wait, it's hard to see right now. Oh yeah, the French Montana album. You guys get the idea. It just takes the dominant color and just adapt it to the entire music player. And as you guys can see, it's still that brown looking um, color there. So it's pretty cool. You know, just for now, RT is a great alternative to color flow, I must say. Highly recommend it. It is free. Now, this next week is called Sugar Cane, which is one of my favorites. Shout out to everybody who eats sugar cane. But... <laughs> Uh, basically what this tweak does, it shows a percentage. So right now my volume is zero. So as I raise up the volume, as you guys can see, you can see the actual number. So maybe you wanna set the volume to 50%. You can exactly do that without actually predicting. Um, so yeah, it give you that exact amount. So I like this tweak a lot. Little changes here and there really does refine iOS, I must say. Next tweak, I highly recommend this one. This is called Tweak Compatible and this is a Cydia tweak. and Basically, it just lets you know that this tweak is compatible or not compatible. So for example, so for example, this tweak, Colorflow, we was just talking about Colorflow. On the bottom here, it says not working. So this tweak is not compatible. Yeah, so it just lets you know before you actually download it. Highly recommend this tweak. This should be one of the first things you should install just to prevent your device from messing up or anything because if a tweak is incompatible, it might kick you into safe mode. And if you're, if you're new to the jailbreak scene, yeah, so highly recommend you install this tweak right here. If I go into a tweak that is compatible, it shows right there on the bottom working. Next up is called Easy Switcher X, and this is a must-have if you have the iPhone 10. Um, don't you find it annoying? You tap and hold an app icon, and you have to wait for the red dots. Well, with this tweak, 
you just swipe up to kill all your apps. Next up, we have Pearl Retry. Now, this is exclusively to the iPhone 10. Basically, it's gonna, you know, set a limit. So, normally when you scan it with Face ID, there's like a limit, it's like a delay. So, as you guys can see, retry delay in seconds. So, every 10 seconds is gonna always scan your face on the lock screen, of course. So, um, so you know, there's like a delay, there's like a gap sometimes with iOS. But with this, you can actually customize that delay. Um, you can't do no seconds, so I did 10. And overall, this tweak just makes your face ID much more faster. Well, scans much faster. All right, guys, so next up, a very, very simple tweak. This is called High Bar X. So on the iPhone 10, it get rid of that, <laughs> got tongue tied. It gets rid of that um, home bar on the bottom there. So if I go into the settings application, there's no, you know what I mean, that little home bar, that little white line that you guys normally see, it is gone now. Because you already know, you know how to use an iPhone 10. So that bar, it is gone on every single application, Safari, everything. And next up, we have a tweak called No More Small Apps. So once you jailbreak your iPhone 10, for example, you notice the Cydia is small. All it is is just going to make the Cydia fit within your iPhone 10. And really not just Cydia, just any app that is not supported with the iPhone 10. This is going to enlarge it. It's going to fit with the iPhone 10's display. So I highly recommend this tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called iCleaner. iCleaner is a staple tweak. I highly recommend you guys install it. And all it is, is just going to clean up all the junk on your iDevice. So stuff that's taking up a lot of space, you could free up to like, <laughs> I've seen stuff like uh, 10 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes. So it's a lot of space that you may have like unwanted space. I'm not going to have much because I literally just did this yesterday. So I'm probably not going to have too much. And as you guys can see there, next up is Fast Unlock 10. So basically all it is, instead of swiping up all the time, your phone is automatically going to unlock. Just like that. So I didn't swipe up. Let's try that again. So much faster. Pair that with per unlock and that it is instant. So I'm behind the camera so it's not getting it all the time because this big camera is in front of me. But it works every single time and it's just no need to swipe up. Now if you have a notification, uh, you know what? I'm going to play music. They count that as a notification. Um, I'm going to play some music. So fast unlock is not going to work if I have this music uh, notification here or this music banner here. Um, so yeah. So it's pretty, very, very good though, I must say. Very, very good. And I don't mind that at all. The next tweak we have here is called Hide Labels X. And all it is, it just hides the labels on your springboard. Um, and I think it just matches really well because normal iOS, it hides the labels on your dock. But why not remove the labels altogether? Um, especially if you know where all your apps are. It just makes your device look so much cleaner. I'm all about that minimalistic jailbreak setup. I just like minimalistic things. That's all. Um, and this is definitely makes your device look 10 times better in my opinion. Last but not least, the final tweak is called Notchless. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed this by now. On the top, I got rid of the notch using a tweak called Notchless. And all it is, it's just gonna put a black bar by the status bar. A lot of people don't like the notch, but if you jailbreak your device, you get rid of the notch. Well, sort of, kinda. And yeah, let me turn off a clip so you guys can see. So if I go into my settings application, you guys can see there's a black bar on top of it. A lot of people find this neat. Uh, when you're watching a YouTube video, you're still gonna see the notch. Damn, people are still popping fireworks. Uh, and really just throughout the entire uh, system interface. And here's the Safari application, so you guys can see the black bar. It looks neat, I must say. I'm trying it out. I'm trying to see how it is, if I like it or not. And that's pretty much all the tweaks that I have installed right now on my device. Oops. <laughs> and me, normally, I'm all about the functionality when it comes down to jailbreaking my device. Things I will use. Subscribe if you're new around here for more Apple-related content. And just more other awesome stuff on this channel, man. And... Click on that notification bell, drop a like on this video, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and i catch you guys in the next video. I'm gone.